Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we're going to be making the Desert Lanyard. This is another Uniform Warrior original, so if you like it, make sure to like it. So to start this, you are going to need two different cords. The cord I'm using is from a starter pack from Board Paracord, so there will be a link in the description to that if you want to check it out. You're also going to want a one inch ring and one of those little mini buckles. Not sure what they're called. Also, I bought that from a local craft store, so I might not be able to link the exact one if I can't find it, but I'll look for it. So you're just going to go ahead and take 12 feet of each of those colors and then find the center of those and cut them and singe them. Go ahead and grab one of the yellow cords and just tie a regular square knot in the end. Take your red strand and go ahead and pull that through the yellow knot until you get to the center. Once you reach the center of the red strand, you're just going to want to clip the end of the yellow strand and singe it. As you can see, when I did that, I got a little bit of the red strand, so it turned white. <laughs> so I just lit that a little bit again with a softer lighter and then just covered that up. Go ahead and take those three strands and run them down through the top of that mini buckle. Try to straighten out all the strands and get all the twists out. Then you're going to start your braid. So mostly you're going to be doing a three strand braid. So at all times you're going to have two cords off on the right side like I have here and then pull the farthest strand from the middle down through the middle and off to the other side. So as you can see here you're going to grab that yellow strand and pull it across and towards the middle of that braid. Then take the far right strand and do the same and just continue doing that. The most important thing to focus on while doing this is tightening it consistently and to help with that when you do this you don't want to let the braid bend up towards you you kind of want to make sure it stays flat and that'll help you just keep the sides nice and even. So 
So you're gonna do that until you get to about 11 and a half inches. Then you do the same thing you just did. Take your yellow strand and just tie a regular square knot. Run the red strand down through that loop until you get to the center. Go ahead and tighten that knot, and then cut and singe that yellow strand. Once again, pull those three strands down through that mini buckle. Make sure you get all the twists out of the cord. And then you're going to start the three strand braid again. So take your right cord and just put it down in between those two left strands. Take your now left strand and put it in between the other two strands. Continue doing that until you reach the length of the other one. Go ahead and check the ends of both of those and make sure they finish with the two yellow strands on the outsides and the four red strands all in the middle. Then you're just going to kind of intertwine those red strands together. That first top right strand, you're going to put it over that first strand and under the second strand. And then take the top red strand from the other braid and it should be already under that top strand and then bring it over the second red strand. Then bring that bottom red strand over the other red strand. Hope this is making sense. <laughs> then you're just going to go ahead and pull those tight and then kind of put them together as, the, as four main strands and then put the hemostats there to just keep them in place. Then you're just going to do two cobra stitches with the yellow strands. So go ahead and take that right yellow strand and put it over the four middle strands. Take the left yellow strand, put it over the other yellow strand, behind the four middle strands, and up through that right loop. And you're just going to tighten that. You can go ahead and move those hemostats down a little bit to give you some more room. And take your left yellow strand, put it over the four middle strands. Take your right strand, put it over that yellow strand, behind the four middle strands, and up through the left loop. Once again, tighten that. And then you can go ahead and remove the hemostats. And then go ahead and clip the two outer red strands. Make sure you clip them pretty close to that cobra stitch, and then melt them. Then go ahead and put the one inch ring over those two red strands and then go about a few inches off of the cobra stitch and bend those red strands back. Go ahead and clip that there with the hemostats and then you're going to continue the cobra stitch. So take your right strand, 
put it over the four middle strands, take your left strand, put it over that strand, behind the four middle strands, and up through the right loop. And then continue doing the cover stitch all the way down to the bottom. Try to fit in as many as you can just to make sure it's nice and tight. And then go ahead and clip those yellow strands and singe them. Clip them pretty close to the cobra stitch because you just want a smooth surface there. And you can also press them down after you singe them, but I prefer just to leave them as long as they're flat. Go to those two red strands and clip those pretty close to the cobra stitch and then singe those. Those I wanted to press down just to make sure that they were nice and flat because you don't want those to get caught on anything. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.